So hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be discussing how much a vending machine business really makes in 2022, especially in the United Kingdom. Now this is a very requested video from all of you guys who watch my videos and hopefully this will help answer a lot of your questions regarding how much a vending machine business makes, whether you're going down the full line vending machine route or the towel vending machine route. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, we're gonna start with the tower vending machines for all of you entrepreneurs who want to get into that space. As I'm sure you are very well aware, they look like that behind me there. And I'm going to be discussing the first three months of launch so you can see when you launch how much you could possibly make. So I'm not telling you the figures from you know, in the middle of the year, I'm gonna tell you the first three months of profits. So first month we launched, and this only had 20 days, we're in that. Um, we made £243 in gross revenue and we made £112.38 in my net profit. Month two of launch, we did £299 worth of sales. Again, this was only off six machines, so this shows you what it can do with £142 in net profit. So it's a very, very healthy profit margin. It's around 45 to 50%, depending how much you give to charity and other external factors, uh, but that's how much it made. So a month, 112 pounds, a month two, 142 pounds, and let's get into month three. So in month three, we did 300 pounds in sales again. So if you really look, that's very, very similar to the previous month, which shows that it's very sustainable as a business. Now that did 300 pounds in that month with 142 pounds in net profit. So. That shows you the first three months of launch. It slowly, gradually increased and it stayed at a sustainable level. Now, obviously, like I said, I do have 11 machines, but this is just off six machines. So you can kind of judge on how much you think I, I make off 11 machines, or if you want to get less, you can judge it off that as well. But that's generally what I made in the first launch of my tower vending machine business. So next up is the full line vending machines. Now, a lot of you are interested in this over towel vending machines, or maybe you want to do both. But hopefully this will give you a bit of an insight. So we're gonna go over the first two months of launch for my full line vending machine. Now, there's a few factors that affected how much it would actually make on an average month, but I'm gonna go through those. So without further ado, the first month of the full line vending machine did 330 pounds worth of sales with 178 pounds worth of net profit. Again, that's money I can take home and, uh, and take away from the business. So it did 330 pounds of sales. So let's break that down. So the 330 pounds of sales was only about 20 of the 30 days in the month. We launched it, I think, on the 10th of the month and it continued through the end. So we did 330 pounds in gross sales with 178 pounds in net profit. So that was first month, but not the full month. The second month is a similar story, actually. Now, if you've seen in a previous video, I've had a few problems with the machine, but those are getting fixed. We can very easily fix those and it will be back up and running fully soon. But in the second month, it ran for the whole month. However, only about 20 of those, again, was fully working and fully operational because the other 10 days, the fridge and certain aspects of the machine needed to be fixed. So off those 20 days, we did 300 pounds worth of gross sales with 151 pounds in net profit. Now, the reason again is because of the repairs and the reason why it's so close to the other one is because certain products of mine have higher net profits and some of them have lower, so it all depends on what sells in that month. So hopefully you can see how that helps. So first month it did 178 pounds in profit and second month it did 151 pounds in profit. Going forward, I would expect the average to be gross sales of at least 400 pounds per machine with at least a net profit of over 225 pounds. That is my location requirements. So if you were to buy so many, you can see how much they could make. So a quick bonus for you, I'm gonna take a few of my products from my full line vending machine and show you how much each one individually profits me. Number one is LucasAid. Now LucasAid is one of my best sellers, but also one of the highest profit margin drinks I sell. I buy this for about 59 pence and sell it for one pound 60. A lot of the drinks I'm gonna show you now, I could sell for more. A lot of vendors are doing that, £1.80, £2 even, uh, with inflation going the way it is. But with my location, uh, I don't quite wanna increase the prices just yet um, because it's hard times for everybody. So let's move on to the next product. 
So the next product you're seeing in a lot of vending machines nowadays is coffee. This is caramel latte uh, from Costa. I also sell Starbucks drinks in my machines as well. Um, but these I buy for about 80 pence and sell for £1.60, roughly 100% mark upon that. Um, but hopefully that helps you see the sort of profits you can make if you were to just buy a machine and put simple things like this in. Another new addition to my vending machine is Yazoo Strawberry Milkshake. Now this is an unconventional one, not many people will put this in a vending machine, but the profits on this is super high, uh, around about £1.05 per bottle that I sell. Um, you may think these may go off due to it being dairy, however there is certain uh, kind of pasteurized and things in this so it helps it stay quite fresh. Um, and these are another great profit maker. Don't sell as well as other products, but still very healthy profits. Now next up is a classic and this is Red Bull. Energy drinks always sell incredibly well in vending machines. And again, I think I buy this for about 75 pence and sell for £1.60. And these are a great seller if you're looking at getting into full line vending. So that gives you a rough idea. So hopefully those little snippets of my products and, and how much I pay for them has helped you kind of understand how individual profits work and hopefully before you're able to see how much both types of vending machines make. So thanks for watching as always. I'm going to end the video there. Again, if you have any questions at all, I'll try my very best to answer them if you drop them down below. Like, comment, subscribe. There are many more videos on the way and I'll see you in the next one.